Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Learn Neuroradiology for this second board review case of the 2022 Brain Tumor Board Review Series. For this case, we're looking at a 41-year-old woman who's having seizure-like activity. Here we have some axial images from an MRI of the brain. On the left, you have a diffusion. In the middle, you have a T2. And on the right, you have a flare. Take a look at the abnormality that you're seeing there. Kind of formulate in your mind what you think that uh, might be. Here you have pre- and post-contrast images through the same level. Kind of take a look at that lesion. Think about what, uh, what's in your differential diagnosis. What do you think is most likely here? So your first question that you'd face uh, on your exam is probably going to be, what's the most likely diagnosis? You should be able to come up with a pretty short differential of things that this is likely to be. And then your second question is, what is the name of the sign associated with IDH-mutated astrocytomas? And you see it in this case. Is it the mass effect sign, the T2 mismatch sign, the minimal enhancement sign, or the dural tail sign? See just an example of it here. Uh, this case is an anaplastic astrocytoma. So this is a grade three astrocytoma. This is an intermediate grade because IDH mutated astrocytomas go from grade two to grade four. Grade two are the infiltrating astrocytomas. And you have this one, which is an anaplastic, which is in between. Grade four IDH mutated astrocytomas used to be lumped in with glioblastomas. They're now being referred to as grade four IDH mutated astrocytomas. Now compared to grade four tumors, they have less mass effect and less enhancement. Many times these patients are gonna present with focal neurologic symptoms or seizures. And the treatment for these, much like other brain tumors, is resection of as much of the tumor as possible, followed by chemoradiation. Now, the T2 mismatch sign is something that's been published relatively recently, but may show up in a testing scenario. This is when you have a tumor like this, which is very bright on T2, but has a significant portion that suppresses on flare. This is a pretty specific sign for an IDH mutated astrocytoma. Now, here you see the images from this case. You have diffusion. There's maybe a little faint rim, like where it's bright on diffusion, but bright diffusion is not a dominant feature here. It's very bright on T2 with a relatively well delineated margin. And then on flare, you see again well delineated margins, but the central portion of the tumor is more suppressed on the flare compared to the T2. Here you see your pre and post contrast images. Again, a relatively well delineated mass, some mass effect, not a great deal of enhancement, but you have some enhancement along the anterior margins of the tumor there. So a little intermediate amount of enhancement makes you think that this is probably gonna be a low to intermediate grade tumor. Now the name of the sign I guess I've already pointed out is the T2 mismatch sign. Here you just see the example. It's centrally bright on T2, so it's very bright centrally on T2, but on flare it's darker. So you see that's the T2 mismatch sign. That's associated with IDH mutated astrocytomas. Thanks to everyone for tuning in to the second case. We're gonna have more cases coming up. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you get notifications when more uh, videos are put out. We're hoping to have several more uh, brain tumor board review cases this spring, and uh, so be looking out for those. Thanks, everyone.